We have seen shower and thunderstorms go away from central Texas, and I think that trend is going to continue as we head into Friday going on into your Father's Day weekend as well. As our summer pattern starting to take over once again with that big hot high moving closer to Texas, and that will bring pretty much nothing to the area. We may see a few clouds from time to time, but it will be kind of steamy with temperatures in the mid 90s and heat index values just over 100 degrees through Sunday. So it is going to stay on the hot side. We will be watching the tropics. Not not much happening right now in the southern Gulf of Mexico. However, the Hurricane Center upping this to a 40% chance over the next seven days of seeing tropical development across the southern Gulf exactly where it tracks. There's still some questions to that right now. Looking out ahead to most of the models, they take it into Mexico, leaving us on the fringe of anything. But again, things may change between now and then, and we will continue to track that closely for you. Other than that, I can tell you it will be hot. Mid-90s on the way Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. However, as we get that onshore flow as we get into next week, that's more of a tropical air mass, and that will start to send highs back down into the upper 80s to near 90 degrees as we head toward the middle part of next week. So that's one piece of good news here. It's going to be really humid, though, with that tropical air mass in place, and that may squeeze out a couple of thunderstorms from time to time as well. Speaking of that, here's your future track showing us going on into Friday, Saturday, on into Sunday. There's just not much happening around here. However, the Gulf of Mexico should start to become a little more active as we head toward the beginning of next week with isolated thunderstorms here, better rain chances across East Texas and Southeast Texas by Monday afternoon. Then on Tuesday, that system gets a little bit closer. So again, a few thunderstorms will be possible during the afternoon hours going into Wednesday as well. And again, it's all about track here. The farther north this system gets, the wetter we are. The farther south it is, it looks like we will only see isolated activity and the stronger any system gets down in the Gulf of Mexico that likes to tighten up and that would also decrease rain chances for us as well. So there's just a big wait and see here, but at least through the middle part of next week, 20 to 30 percent chances of a few thunderstorms from time to time. So for tonight, temperatures will work their way down into the lower 70s. We'll go about 70 in Waco, 72 Temple and Colleen, and mid 70s in Bryan College Station at 74. Then tomorrow, highs into the middle 90s, and it'll feel like it's 100 to 105 when you factor in the humidity. So it is going to be a pretty hot one out there, and that trend continues into your Father's Day weekend as we talked about with those highs staying into the mid 90s. Then as we get into Monday, 20% chance for some thunderstorms. Same for Tuesday. Then we'll go 30% Wednesday and Thursday with highs into the upper 80s and lower 90s going into next week. And taking a look at the Brazos Valley, again, on the hot side, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, slightly better chances for rain for you, especially by the middle part of the week as you're a little closer to the coast and highs will be into the upper 80s.